Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. The telecom giant AT&T has sent one man on a wild goose chase to get one of the company's utility boxes moved off his property. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas looks into this ongoing saga. An unwelcome intruder. One day I came home and there was a utility box blocking the pretty much half of my lot. Even worse. There was no prior notice, no information, no phone call, nothing. Homeowner Jason Tripoli planned to build a garage here. If you notice on the front of my property, I'm directly across the street from a very busy Chicago Fire Department station. So he could exit from the back of his property. I would like to be able to avoid sometimes the trucks are coming in and out. But his plans were thwarted when AT&T put this box here. He first reached out to AT&T years ago. No one responded, so he started seeking out help. He contacted his alderman, his senator, the ICC, each reached out to AT&T on his behalf. Once I did that, I heard from him. Then more hurdles. They had me pull a permit and uh, that was part of their protocol in order to relocate the box. So he paid $225 for a building permit from the city of Chicago. I sent it to him, it was accepted. AT&T thanked him and said they'd get the process started, but then... Nothing, no response whatsoever. Now, a year later, AT&T changed their tune. They sent me back a message saying, well, your initial permit was for a fence. We'd like to see something of like a structure or something that you're building on your property. And that, that's when I had enough. No progress, no explanation, no end in sight. It's getting, uh, it's getting frustrating. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. A spokesperson for AT&T claims that COVID-19 delayed the project and is working as quickly as possible to remove the box. When we pressed AT&T about the claim, we learned it completed phase one of the project last summer, but we never got an explanation of what that means. And as you saw in this video, there's no evidence of construction work at the site. AT&T also wouldn't tell us when the project might be done, nor what will be done about the now expired permit. For more